The sad truth is that most evil is done by people who never make up their minds to be good or evil. We tend to think of the world we have as the hand we were dealt. Whether it is our politics, wars, entertainment, or social issues, it is easy to chuck it up to someone else's problem. But what is our society? What is our culture? It is us. It is a direct reflection of us, but not all of us. Those of us who choose not to participate in it make more room for those who seek to manipulate it. So how do we have a world that reflects the one we actually want? Do you ever feel like you just don't care about popular issues, like those of politics? Does it feel like you just don't know enough about the subject to contribute? Does it seem like every source of information is pushing a narrative you just aren't sure you even agree with? Some people seem so passionate in their political views and opinions on social issues that you may think they just have something you don't. You might feel like these subjects just aren't your thing. Well, with the help of 20th century German-Jewish philosopher Hannah Arendt, I would like to try and change your mind. What if I told you that this state you are in right now, that of not picking one of the generic sides laid out in front of you, is actually a better place to be in than those who blindly follow one of these sides? The trick is, you need to keep going. Recognizing that following one narrative without thinking is a mistake is great, but not judging things yourself is an equally destructive error. It is only through effort and introspection that you can arrive at a conclusion that truly reflects you. Without this, you will always lean on someone else to tell you good, bad, true, and false. In essence, without this effort, you give up your capacity to form your own moral judgments. If you blindly follow a narrative, those who direct that narrative also direct your moral compunction. For instance, if you are a devout follower of a political leader, and this person paints another group as evil, they gain your consent to act against those people. This has been the standard model used by authoritarian leaders throughout history. Sitting in limbo with your thoughts is no better. In fact, it is each and every one of our responsibilities to develop our independent capacity to think in order to prevent such disasters. Our society and culture is not a reflection of our thoughts. It is a reflection of our actions. Do you want better leaders? Do you want better schools, laws, and freedoms? Do you want better entertainment and cultural values? Well, you need to participate. Not only does this build a society that better reflects us, the process of working your way through all of the mess and narratives allows you to find yourself. It gives you the tools to be the weight, weigher, and scale of your own life and choices. This is not just a product of our own lack of trying, but also the era that we live in. That is, a time of such abundance and variety of information that we are so easily overwhelmed. The two big dangers of such an environment are, as we have outlined thus far, falling into a narrative to make things easy, which draws battle lines in the sand, and withdrawing from contemplation of the world at all as not to make a mistake in it. Both of these give power to those who wish to manipulate us. With the death of mainstream media as a reliable source for transparent information and the rise of such a multitude of social media personalities all vying for their cause and no others, we have lost the ability to access truth. How can we possibly have an opinion if we are not informed? People stop believing anything because they think all of the sources like the media, government, and social media cannot be trusted. So how can we respond in such a situation? Well, instead of reason and rational thinking, which requires access to that truth, we are forced to navigate with our emotions. We discard rational thinking because it doesn't help us navigate a world that we perceive as being nothing but lies. The consequence of this is that, as a society, we value good lies over truth and fact. This gives rise to leaders with no business leading. The reality is that we want speed and meaning when we evaluate new ideas, but we will never encounter profound ideas without effort. There seems to be a misconception that good ideas should be able to be stated quickly and simply. This is just a reaction to the vast amount of information we are trying to ingest. We simply don't think we have the time to think about it all. Yet it is this very unwillingness to participate which allows for such an environment to be created in the first place and to thrive. 
We will never be free from the manipulation of others if we do not learn to take responsibility for our own mental capacity. It is only through participation in the issues of our community and fellow humans that we can ever hope to understand others and to be understood ourselves. To put things simply, we live in a confusing world full of people trying to get us to subscribe to their narratives. It is a natural reaction to withdraw from participating in that world. But there are real problems and there are real people suffering right in your backyard. Many of them are simply asking to be heard. To remain idle is to condemn us all to live in a society reflective of the loud and manipulative.